Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a GTA 5 vehicle add-on. Before you start watching, I recommend that you watch through the tutorial without actually doing anything to begin with and then watch it again and follow along. This way you can get a proper idea of each step in the process. I always use one of my old add-ons as a base for my new one. You can use my stock salt and classic modification as a base for your add-on if you want. Just make sure to follow the tutorial closely so you know your add-on is truly standalone. This tutorial assumes you have your game set up for modifications with a mods folder, a game config and other supporting modifications. I'll leave a link in the description to a tutorial that explains how to install all types of mods including the prerequisites required for your vehicle add-on to function. I hope you enjoy the video, thank you for watching. Okay to begin with we're going to take this uh, custom oracle uh, that I've made in a matter of five minutes by uh, renaming the models and we're going to turn it into an add-on. In here in the DLC packs, Simon Mods Update Time 64 DLC packs, this is where all your add-on DLC packs will go. This is, you can see there's a couple of them here. Um, <clears throat> I've got my Sultan 2B uh, mod which I will also link in the description so you can use the same base as I'm using. Uh, first things first, I'm going to go into my um, project folder, I'm going to go to my add-on folder, I'm going to drag and drop Sultan 2B. I'm going to rename it to stu underscore oracle c. And the reason why I put stu underscore at the start is because in the past I've experienced that if you just name it the model name, then uh, your model isn't likely to spawn in game. Now, this is something that I figured out years ago i don't even know if it's still a factor but it's better to be safe than sorry i always just put stu underscore at the start it's not like a pride thing or anything i just do it because it prevents a potential bug um anyway i will drag and drop it in here and then i'll copy the name of it so stu oracle c and then we'll go inside the add-on the dlc rpf and then the content xml and we'll right click and edit it you have to make sure edit mode is active in OpenIV as well, otherwise you won't be able to edit these files. So you can see here, I've got file name stu underscore sultan 2b. If I want to re replace stu underscore sultan 2b with my actual name of the add-on, which in this case is stu oracle c. And then once I've done the first one, I can copy it and paste it to all of the other, all of the other slots. So. We'll do that all the way until here. These are the entries for any custom sounds uh, you might have. Um, there are no custom sounds that I'm going to be using for this add-on, so I'm going to delete these entries. I don't need them, but they're here if you want them. It would basically, if you wanted uh, your custom sounds in the add-on, then you would just continue to paste in the file paths. But we don't need them for this, so I'm going to delete them. And then for this, we're going to do Oracle C Autogen. And then we'll also remove the sounds from the bottom here. And then we'll continue to paste in the new line. And then here you can see Vehicle Mods Sultan 2B Mods.RPF. Uh, this car doesn't have any mods, but I'm going to show you how to convert the Mods.RPF as well. So it would just be a case of renaming this. I'm going to call it Oracle C mods.rpf and then I'll paste it down here as well. So the Oracle C mods.rpf is where any of your custom mod parts will go um, should your car have any. This car doesn't, so. Uh, but I'm d leaving it in there anyway just in case I decide I ever want to add any parts to it. <clears throat> so that's that, that's that bit. So we hit save on that. And then we go to the setup2.xml. And it's the same process again. You can see up here, do Oracle C. So we need to change this to Oracle C, Oracle C. And then this one is just the model name, so Oracle C. And then the autogen, which should be the same as the one that's inside uh, content.xml, Oracle C. And then save. Now you need to make sure that you go to vehicle mods and rename the mods.rpf, otherwise your game will crash when trying to load it. <clears throat> Must be the same name. 
So Oracle C Monster RPF. I'm going to remove all of the modifications from it because they're from the old car and I don't need them. And we're going to vehicles the RPF. We'll delete the uh, the car stuff as well. I'm going to go to my exported folder, and here we have my YTD and both YFTs. I'm going to drag and drop. There they are. So now they're in the, in the vehicles.rpf. Now I'm going to go to data, carcoles.meta, edit. So for this one, we're going to set up the mod kit. This will be a really simple mod kit just to make sure that. Uh, it's basically just going to have an ID to make sure that it that it functions. It's not actually going to have any uh, visual parts or anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is select from this item all the way down to the end of visible mods, which probably goes on for some time because this car's just got the old car that this add-on's based on has quite a little bit of tuning. So we'll continue all the way down. There we go, to there. So then we'll backspace on that one. I always leave a, a null link mod in my uh, in my uh, add-ons. So um, whenever I make an add-on using a, another add-on as a base, I have these if I need them. Um, I also, on my newer add-ons, I don't think I've got it on this one, I have... Uh, Oh no, there's a slot name here. I also have slot name set up, so that's good as well. This allows you to rename existing uh, mod kit slots uh, to a new name that's inside your GXT2 file. But for this one, we're going to set the mod kit ID to... I don't know. Uh, we'll do 726. And then we'll do uh, Oracle C mod kit. And then paste the ID in there. For this one, I'm going to set the type of the mod kit part to uh, VMT underscore bumper underscore F. That's the name of the category for the front bumper category. You can find the names of it, all the categories online. Uh, we'll leave the uh, name of the model to null. And the mod shop label, this will do ORC or, or oh, we'll just do the full name underscore test and I'll also show you how the mod shop labels work as well and for the turn off bone section we're going to turn off the front bumper so each bone is housed within the item section so if you have multiple bones, there'll be another another set of these items with another bone inside. So this one's just bumper F. And for the bone, we're going to set it to bumper F. And for the collision bone, we'll also set it to bumper F. And then I'll also get rid of this as well. So we'll copy this. And then we'll save this. So that's sorted now. And then we're going to car variations .meta. So here we have uh, the colors for the vehicle. I'm going to remove every color but one. And the colors are determined from item to item. Just a simple XML syntax. Uh, for the color, we're going to set it to black on everything. So this will be uh, zero. This will be zero. This will be zero. This will be zero. This will be zero. And this will be zero. That's black for everything. And then our mod kit ID. And then for the light settings, you can take them from the original vehicle. Uh, for this car in particular, because it's the Oracle 2. Uh, the light information will be in carvariations.ymt, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to set it to zero, which means it will just be whatever the bone position is of the uh, headlight. And then we'll change the model as well, so Oracle C. And then we'll save that. Now for the handling.meta, we're going to need another OpenIV tab for this, so I'm going to go to OpenIV, open that up. I'm going to pick Windows. We'll put this on the left. I'm going to go to Mods, Update, Update RPF, Common, Data, 
handling diameter. Open it up, and then we will do Control F, and we'll find Oracle two. I'm going to copy this from item to item again. Close this, and then we'll open uh, my one. And then we'll go from item to item again. Paste this. And then we will rename this from Oracle 2 to Oracle C. Uh, so this will be a standalone handling for your vehicle. You can change pretty much everything about it. Uh, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I won't be changing anything because there's no point. Uh, and I'll save. Now for vehicles.meta, in the left window, in the left uh, open IV window, we're going to go to levels, GTA 5, vehicles.meta. And then we'll open this one as well. Move over to the right. So for this one, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to search for Oracle 2. And then we'll copy again from item to item. And I use the same process for um, my real life cars. All of my real life cars and uh, fully standalone cars that I've modeled myself, um, basically the position of them in the scene in Z Modeler is set so uh, I can take the layout and also the handling from uh, a base vehicle. For example, the Oracle 2. So, provided your model is set up correctly, you can basically use uh, any GTA car as your base. So, for game name here, so I've set the uh, model name, the TXD name, and the handling ID to Oracle D. The handling ID should be in capitals, TXD lowercase, model name lowercase. Uh, for the game name, this is a, um, a GX, GXC2 entry. I'm going to set to Oracle C, like so. And I'll show you how to define this along with the custom name from... Uh, uh, along with the custom name from Carcoles. So coming down to the audio name hash, I'm going to change this. Uh, on default vehicles, the audio name hash, when it is set like this, defaults to the model name. But since this car is add-on, uh, we need to define a name here. So audio name hash, arrow right, arrow left, slash audio name hash. And then our right again. And for this, I'm going to set it to the brawler because I really like that sound. And then we're not done it with this left one, so we need to hit up until we find the TXD relationships for this car, which are here. So vehicle shaft or well, vehicle shaft interior. That's the shafter interior. So we will copy the TXD relationships. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Paste it down here. For this one, I'm going to set, uh, set the model name to Oracle C so it matches. And that basically means that uh, vehicle shafter interior is linked to Oracle C. That's fine for that. And then we will save this. And in terms of the add-on, that is pretty much it. Uh, now what we're going to do is go back to DLC packs. I'm going to copy the name of this, so stu underscore oracle c. I'm going to go update, update rpf, common, data, and then we'll find dlclist.xml. So once you get to uh, the data folder, you want to right click and edit dlclist.xml and scroll down to the bottom. And then you can take your DLC packs, uh, just any DLC packs line, you can copy it, hit enter, backspace a couple of times, and then paste it, and then change uh, this from whatever it was to the name of your add-on. So in this case, stu underscore oracle c. Uh, I've got a duplicate one here, so I will remove that. But there's that. I'm also going to remove uh, Cypher CT because uh, it's not installed anymore. And we'll hit save. And now we can test.
Once we've confirmed that it's working, we will set up the GXT2. So here we can see Uber Mac Oracle C. We'll spawn it in, and here it is. With the Brawler Sand. It is literally just a stock Oracle. I took the model and renamed it. But we know this is working, but you can see in the bottom right here, it doesn't have a name. It's just got Uber Marked and then nothing else. And if we check the mod kit, you can see here, we've got the front bumper, and it works, but there's no name for that, so we're going to fix that now. So we'll close the game. Now we're going to go to update, time 64, DLC packs, Stu Oracle C, DLC RPF, time 64, data, language, American DLC.RPF. And then what we want to do is right click the GXT2, export to open formats. And then we'll go to Tony Stewart C, Z model projects, law friendly. In this case, Uber marked. And we'll find the tutorial Oracle add-on. And then I, I just put it in the same place as the add-on and then select that folder. Now, if we jump back to that folder, you can see here an OXT file has been generated. Now, if you right-click this and edit it, you'll see a bunch of hashes and what they equal. Now, for this, we're going to go back to our add-on, I'm going to go to time 64, oh, sorry not time 64, DLC RPF, data, carcoles.meta, I'm going to copy this mod shop label, oracle c underscore test, and then we're going to change this at the top here, to or so oracle c underscore test equals remove front bumper. And then we'll go back to vehicles.matter, so right click, edit, and then game name Oracle C, we'll copy that, jump back here, I'm going to remove these other ones, and then this one, paste in here, Oracle C equals Oracle Custom, and we'll save that. We can close Notepad. We can close this. We got DLC RPF time sixty four data language American DLC RPF, and we'll jump back into our folder. We'll drag and drop the OXT, and it'll open it. And now, if we open this here, you can see Oracle C equals Oracle Custom. Oracle C test equals remove front bumper. We can close that up. We can start the game and check to make sure everything's working. You can see her in the menu, Ubermacht Oracle Custom. And in the bottom right, when I get in the vehicle, Ubermacht Oracle Custom. And if we jump into menu and find the name of the bumper, you can see here, remove from bumper has been added and it works. So that is a tutorial for a vehicle add-on. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Thank you for watching.